They got me in a right pickle, didn't they? Soon they reached Gordon's Hill. Push hard, push hard, puffed Henry. We're doing it, we're doing it, replied Duck. Henry was pulling his train harder than he realized. Duck felt the weight on his buffers slacken. Then Duck noticed something else. There's no sign of a tail lamp, he puffed. He whistled, but there was no reply. Meanwhile, Henry had noticed something too. My train's getting heavier, he thought to himself. I'm slowing down. Then there was trouble. No one was hurt, but a strong smell of fish hung in the air. He never calls them bugs or mites, because he knows they might bite back. That evening, a big storm raged across the island. Cranky and the engines were trapped at the docks. We're sure to be safe in this shed, said Duck. But he was wrong. The engines had no idea they were about to be put in great danger by an old tramp steamer. It was out of control and running aground straight into the sheds. the engines from inside the shed. I can't! called Cranky. So it was you, murmured Sir Topham Hatt. I owe those engines an apology. Thomas and Percy soon came to the rescue. And it wasn't too long before Cranky was upright again and clearing the wreckage. At last, all the engines were free. Oh, thank you, said Gordon. What would I have done without you? Well, I had to be rescued before I could help you. But I never thought it would be by a couple of b... b Cranky was about to say bugs, but he quickly corrected himself. Uh, small engines. Thank you. I'll never be rude again. However, you two mites are in my way, so move over. Ha, huh, said Percy. He's back to bugging us. Don't move! You're still attached to Cranky! But it was too late. And then you'll be just as rude as ever. Eh, George? You'll just have to wait, replied George. There's no time to wait. I must clear my freight cars from the main line to let Gordon through. Then he'll have to wait too, said George. Duck's driver went to complain to the station master, but the signalman had set the signal to allow Gordon to speed through. His passengers were singing his praises, and he was making express time. I'm the greatest! Just watch me fly by! He whistled long and loud as he approached the station. Suddenly, he saw a freight car on the line ahead. Get out of my way! But the freight car wouldn't move until Gordon forced it... ...by accident. Whatever you're doing is not what you're thinking.